Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and this is an absolutely gorgeous 1970 BSA Bantam 175. Clearly, it was ahead of its time because it looks about as cool of a vintage bike as you can find these days. Um, so the styling was definitely on point. Uh, very sporty looking, has the original cafe style bars on it. Um, it's got some cool uh, graphics and upgrades that were done to it to make it look a little more, um, well, a little more uh, racy looking. It has the number one on the side, the 65 World Champion uh, graphics on there. Um, the bike's in stunning condition cosmetically. Mechanically, it appears to be in outstanding shape. However, the previous owner um, had taken the points cover off of it and was working on the points and when he moved, he lost them. So um, we don't have the points covered or the points, but listen to the compression of this engine. It has excellent, excellent compression and um, the throttle cable is nice and smooth like butter, as is the front brake, which works great. The rear brake, uh, the clutch lever, clutch pull is perfect. Even the choke adjustment uh, cable is like brand new. It feels like butter. All the switches, I mean, you can tell from the pictures, this is a absolutely a museum quality motorcycle. Um, it's a, geez, uh, 1970 makes it what? 47 years old, almost 50 years old. Um, fantastic little machine. The original exhaust is in great shape. This bike has 1,132 miles, folks. So that's basically barely broken in, 1,100 original miles. I'm 99.9% .9 sure these are the original tires. Check these tires out. They're uh, reinforced, reinforced Dunlop lightweight tires um, I, made in England. So I'm 99.9% .9 sure these are the original tires on the bike. <coughs> it is missing the, uh, uh, in addition to the points cover and points, it's missing a tank decal. This is the original tank decal, the one on the other side is a reproduction graphic, so you would have to buy the tank decal, you can buy that on eBay, I'm sure. Levers are in beautiful condition, as are the grips. Um, this is basically exactly how it came to us. It was in a private collection in Long Island for the last 30 years, and it's absolutely stunning. I wish we could keep it here at the museum, but it's putting, put, being put up for a sale to raise some funds for the museum. Um, would make an awesome stocking stuffer for someone, hint, hint, since we're only a month away from Christmas. Uh, it's got a custom aluminum uh, racing, racing uh, uh, <coughs> number plate on this side. I really like the, the seat, it has a, the original black piping. And come, come up closer, Kenny, take a look at the top of the seat. I'm not even sure what you'd call that, but it's, a, it's a, the original factory stitching. It has a really cool effect to it. And it has a gold um, trim piece on the bottom that's original. <coughs> also, this is the original BSA 175cc sticker. A little bit worn, a little patina, but it shows the British small arms with the guns on there. And, and it comes with this vintage license plate too. Look at this. Very cool. <coughs> if you have any questions about the bike, give us a call at 860-454-7024. Absolutely a gorgeous bike that would be at home in a uh, co motorcycle-based coffee shop, bar, restaurant. Um, put it in your man room. Leave it here at the New England Motorcycle Museum. Whatever floats your boat. One of the things I wanted to point out, check this out. You need to get a close up of this, Kenny. Uh, the gas cap has this really cool factory um, uh, engraving, petrol mix mixture only. See instruction manual. Um, it has the, look at, the, look at the gauges on it. The gauges are like brand new, 1,132 miles. The switches sound like a Rolex, they're, they're perfect. Just a fantastic little motorcycle. Little TLC, get it running again, and you got yourself a world class antique BSA that's only going up in value. These are rock solid investment. They are going to outpace the stock market, start mark, stock market as they get more and more rare and uh, hard to find in beautiful original condition. This is the original paint on this motorcycle. I'm 99.999% .999 sure. Original paint. Um, and that's what makes it worth a lot of money. A little bit of patina on it. I should expect a couple dings in the tank on this side. Um, this side of the tank, I don't see any dings. This side sounds perfect. A couple of little scratches on the side covers, but just a fantastic machine. Um, it's going to need a battery, a little bit of wiring maybe, uh, hook up an electronic ignition to it instead of the points maybe, and you're golden. If you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Good luck bidding on the bike. I'm going to take her off the center stand and uh, roll her back into the museum and put her on display. So good luck bidding on the bike and God bless England for making such cool 
cafe style bikes from the 60s and 70s. God bless America.